This video will show you how to correctly set up and operate the Bernhard Express Relief. Before lowering the Express Relief onto the lift table of the Express Jewel, the lift table must be lowered by approximately 2 inches. This is to allow the frame of the Express Relief to clear the support bracket of the table. The Express Relief is secured in a raised position by a pin. This needs to be removed to allow the frame to be lowered onto the table. With the pin now removed, the frame can be lowered onto the Express Jewel. Always use both hands and lower the Express Relief as shown. Once lowered in position, raise the lift table back up to support the frame. The height on each side of the guide rail is adjustable to ensure an even grind. Before mounting the cutting unit, ensure that these adjusters are set in the central position. To ensure an even relief angle during grinding, the distance between the grinding wheel and the blade rest should be kept at around 3mm. This may need to be adjusted due to the stone wear. To adjust the distance, loosen the thumb screw on the side of the grinding head and slide the rest forwards or backwards. With the express relief in the raised position, use the lift table to load the cutting unit onto the table of the express jewel. With the express relief lowered, Pull the cutting unit towards you until the rear roller of the unit sits into the V-shaped support bracket. If the cutting unit has a rear roller brush fitted, you will need to use the height extension bracket supplied. The bracket fits into the existing rear roller support bracket and is secured in place by the two thumb screws. The cutting unit is then positioned with the rear roller on top of the bracket as shown. To secure the unit, Raise the front of the cutting unit to as near vertical as possible. This will allow the maximum amount of clearance between the grinding head and the front roller. The cutting unit can then be secured in two different ways. The first is using the vice grip clamps as shown. Alternatively, if the cutting unit has a large enough hole, the bolts, spacers and thumb screws supplied can be used. This method is preferred when using larger, heavier cutting units. To set the angle of relief, firstly raise or lower the grinding head to allow it to be able to reach the reel blades. Generally, a small reel can be reached in a horizontal position. Larger reels may require the head to be raised more towards the vertical position. Once the reel is close, use the grinding head feed screw to move the head towards the reel blade. Stop when the blade rest is underneath the reel blade. The angle of relief can then be determined by raising or lowering the blade rest. This is done by releasing the rest thumb screw and moving the rest up and down. A lower blade rest position will give a steeper relief angle. Once the relief angle has been set, the grinding head needs to be adjusted to ensure that the grind is even on both sides. Bring the stone towards one end of the reel until it just touches against the grindstone with a light contact. Then move the grinding head to the other side of the reel and check that the contact is the same. If the contact is uneven, use the front rail height adjusters to raise or lower each end of the rail. Increase or decrease the height until the contact is even. After adjustment, recheck that the contact is even on both sides. A hand wheel and adapters are supplied with the express relief. This connects to the end of the reel and is used to ensure that hands are kept away from the reel blades when grinding. It is used to allow smooth indexing of the reel blades but also to keep a small amount of pressure on the reel blade against the blade rest 
This is to ensure the grind is both smooth and even. To start the grind, move the grinding head to the right hand side of the reel. Start the grinder by pushing the on off switch. Firstly forwards and then locking it in position by pushing it down. At a slow, steady pace, move the grinder across to the left hand side of the reel, keeping a very light pressure on the hand wheel. When the left hand side of the reel is reached, return the grinder at the same pace to the right hand side of the reel. After one complete pass has been made, inspect the blade to ensure the grind is even and make any adjustments as required. When happy with the grind, continue grinding each blade. If the grind is heavy, blades may be ground more than once to remove more material. To index to the next blade, bring the grinding head to the right hand side until the blade rest comes past the end of the reel blade. Then, with the rest away, turn the hand wheel so the reel rotates downwards. As the grindstone wears, it will be necessary to feed in the grinding head to account for the wear. A feed is performed by turning the feed screw as shown. Care should be taken not to add too much feed, which would result in too much material being removed from the reel blade. The reel should be ground until the desired amount of relief has been added evenly to each reel blade. To change the grinding stone, you will need the wrench supplied in the toolkit. Firstly, remove completely the guard covering the left hand side of the grindstone. On top of the grinding head is a lock button which when depressed will stop the head from turning which then allows the nut to be loosened with the wrench. Place the wrench into the locking nut. Remove the locking nut and then the old grindstone. Fit the new stone and secure with the locking nut, taking care to ensure the step side of the nut goes up into the grinding stone. Press the lock button on top of the grinder and tighten the locking nut with the wrench. Refit the guard to the grinding head, ensuring that when fitted there is a gap of approximately 3mm between the grindstone and the blade rest. 